Hi everyone, my name is Robin Speziali and I'm the national best-selling author of a book called Market Masters. In this video, I'm gonna be revealing to you five top investors, some of the best investors of all time who got in university a BA, a bachelor's degree in liberal arts. Okay, so a lot of people assume that to be a good investor in the stock market, you have to be incredibly good at math. Um, you know, sometimes people think that you need uh, to know advanced mathematics to, um, to evaluate a company, to understand how the stock market works, but that's so far from the truth. These five top investors, um, they have a range of different majors, but they're, they all fall within liberal arts um, degrees here. And um, these BAs, you know, if you were to, to get one of these BAs today, and uh, you know, apply for a job, try to break into the um, investment research, portfolio management, investment banking industry, it would be incredibly hard to do. But the importance here is that you know, sometimes you'll find, and what I find is a lot of the times you'll find that these you know, quote unquote professionals, the experts in the industry, if, if, you, know, you meet an investment banking analyst, they don't really have the, the passion to invest in the stock market. Okay, they, they might understand how to you know, put a deal together, whether it's a merger or acquisition, um, help, help launch a new IPO, but that's within the confines of you know, working for an employer, working for a company, working within their framework. These are incredibly successful investors who have generated millions and in some cases billions of dollars of wealth um, for their clients, for their investors who have invested in their hedge funds or mutual funds. Um, you know, while they have these, you know, some would say basic liberal arts BA degrees, they, um, they're intelligent, they're intel incredibly intelligent people, but they have a passion for the markets, for the equity markets. And so if you combine intelligence with a focus and perseverance to uh, learn something, um, like the stock market, it, it, it's really not that hard. Um, these investors will tell you that you know, if you put in the time to learning how to invest, um, how to gain an edge in the market, um, within your circle of competence, of course, you, know, you don't need to know anything past basic algebra, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. Um, and you know, a lot of this coursework in universities today um, will teach things like the efficient market uh, theory, and there's you know a bunch of models that one can follow to um, evaluate companies like the discounted cash flow analysis. Um, a lot of these great investors they'll just simply look at a trend for cash flow or for net income, and just use that as a determinant for whether they want to invest in a company. They'll do some further research, but there's a lot more than that. There's a lot more than just putting together a discounted cash flow analysis um, or model in a spreadsheet. And I've seen some of these spreadsheets and they, they are just, you know, sometimes they're just overly complex, overly complicated. Um, you know, an analyst will put together a discounted cash flow and uh, predict that a stock price will be at, you know, $300 per share, 30 bucks per share in a year. And, um, you know, who knows what could happen in the economy, in the market to that company, anything can happen. And so, you know, it really instinctively, it takes, um, you know, it, it, it really takes a, um, an all knowing investor, someone who, um, has augmented or supplemented, um, their, their knowledge of the stock market with other things in life. And Charlie Munger describes this as mental models. So, you know, you're, you're not just, um, you're not just investigating one company. Um, you're, you're comparing that company to all the other companies within the industry and then all the companies in the market you can invest in and then even companies in different countries as well. So you're taking a, an incredible holistic relative approach um, to investing in these stocks. So here, we'll, we'll uh, get to it now. Um, these are the five investors who have a BA, a bachelor's um, liberal arts degree. So number one is Bill Gross. And Bill Gross headed up PIMCO for years. Uh, and at PIMCO, um, he generated a lot of wealth for his investors. Um, and then there's number two, there's George Soros. 
And I'm oh, sorry, so Bill Gross has a BA in psychology. So number two, George Soros, he has a BA, a bachelor's in philosophy. And George Soros ran the popular and very successful quantum fund. Number three is Carl Icahn. Carl Icahn has a bachelor's degree in philosophy as well as George Soros. Number four is Peter Lynch. Peter Lynch is my favorite investor here on the list. He ran the Magellan Fund at Fidelity. And over the course, I believe, of uh, 13 years, he generated a 29% annualized return, which is amazing. Uh, Lynch got a BA in a variety here of uh, focuses, history, psychology, classics, and philosophy. And finally, number five on the list is James O'Shaughnessy. O'Shaughnessy got a bachelor's in economics. And I'd also add that um, you know Warren Buffett has technically a liberal arts degree, and that is in economics as well, and that he was not accepted, um, even though he applied to uh, Harvard Business School. And so these are the, um, the top five investors, and then, you know, number six as well, I threw that in as a bonus, Warren Buffett, who have a liberal arts degree. And uh, what I wanted to show here was, you know, it's not about the piece of paper, it's not about what you study in school, um, it's not about the job that you get, but to be a successful investor, it's about, you know, you, you need to be an intelligent person, but you need an incredible drive to just to, to develop so many mental models, um, so many frameworks, and just an approach that works for you and an approach that generates returns in the market. And that takes more than just a degree. Um, e even if you just study finance, um, you know, I, I know a lot of finance majors, math majors, business majors, um, who find it incredibly difficult to invest in the stock market. And it's not just being able to, um, to evaluate companies, it's the behavior um, and the wherewithal to actually hold good companies um, throughout market cycles, throughout ups and downs. So guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I hope it is inspiring. If you do have a liberal arts degree, you can still definitely, as these, you know, uh, these top investors have shown, you can still be a very, very successful investor. So happy investing and uh, talk soon. Bye.